Hello everyone. I know that you'll join me in extending our thoughts and prayers to the family of our dear friend Lucy Beckham, longtime principal in Charleston County. She was the principal of Wando High School. Lucy was a dear friend of mine. She passed away on Sunday night. She was our state principal of the year and went on to be the national high school principal of the year a few years ago and taught us all so much. She served as a mentor to me and to many of you. So our sympathy not only to her family, but to all of the folks in the Charleston County School District. We have some good news and we're very excited that Congress passed the reauthorization of No Child Left Behind. The President signed the Every Student Succeed Act last week and it means a lot now to us because it sends much more authority back to the state of South Carolina for us to make our own decisions about what we think is best for our teachers and our students. And one of the things I know you're interested in is what does this mean about teacher evaluation? Well, first of all, I will have to go to the State Board of Education to ask them to approve some new guidelines and I plan to do that at first of the year. And two of the things that I think will really help all of us is first I'm going to ask that they extend the time that we'll add an additional two years so that you'll be presumed proficient for another two years and that you'll have time to practice and to learn how to use student learning objectives in your evaluation. Now I do think we need to keep student learning objectives and student progress as a piece of our evaluation system, but we need to de-emphasize the, um, the amount of uh, the percentage that that's part of the overall evaluation for you. Also, I plan to ask the State Board to go along and agree with us that no high stakes test would be used in your evaluation. We'll be having some focus groups the first of the year to get your input on other details, but I hope that this will help you relax and enjoy the holidays a little better to know that these changes will be coming in the teacher evaluation program. Now, we'll continue with the process as it is for right now, and these changes then would take effect next year. We've been celebrating here at the Department of Education because the holidays are upon us. We had some fun this week with our own uh, holiday party here. I hope that you're enjoying those in your own school and that you'll get some deserved rest with your family and friends to celebrate this very, very special season. So have a wonderful break. I look forward to seeing you back in 2016 so that we can all work together to make sure that every student in South Carolina is prepared for success after graduation.